Yeah. Can you imagine what it's like? You're on the field. Clock's about to expire. Game's on the line. Championship plays on the line. Postseason play depends on you. Riley Patterson's heart had to be beating out his chest. And this happens. What pandemonium on the field, in the stands. Makes you want to go to Waffle House. You and I can't even begin to imagine what that's like. But this guy knows Mike Hollis. Welcome to the morning show. Thank you so much. First kicker for the Jags. You were with the team during the glory years, 96 to 99, converted 175 field goals. I'm not good at math, but I remember that number. Championship visits, 96, 99. Put me on the field. Give me an idea what it might have been like for that 23-year-old <coughs> Patterson. Put yourself in his shoes. You know, the, the thing with those kind of kicks is you really just, you can't change much. You, 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 why, there's really no difference in what you're doing. Your, your mechanics are the same. It should be the same regardless of the situation. Don't worry about the consequence of making or missing the kick. Just kick the ball like what you've done day in and day out prior to that. So it's a, it's a mental thing. Um, and, and again, a lot of times what, what hurts kickers is they try hard, or they, they try not to miss the kick. They, try, they, they kick it carefully, hoping not to miss. So what are you saying? You just tune out all the other noise? You tune everything else out? You have to do your best at dumbing down the whole process and ignoring everything going on, just like you would any kick of the game. That's the thing. That's, that, why, why would you put more emphasis on that yeah, kick than the first kick of the game? They're all important. But is that easier said than done? It is very much easier said than done. <laughs> but at the age of 23, it's, it's a little, probably a little harder. I mean, obviously, the more experience you have in those situations, the better off you're going to be. But uh, it, just, it just comes with confidence. If you trust your mechanics, trust your form and your technique, and you, you, don't, really, you don't really care where the ball goes, it's really weird to think that way. But if you, if you really trust your mechanics um, and you're good at them, the things will, will happen good. Okay. Trevor Lawrence really seems to be able to do that. I mean, he, you know, he, he could be in a funk you know, like after the first half of last week's game, but he gets out of it. So we know a couple things going into this game against Kansas City. The Jaguars can't play this last-minute kind of football, this cardiac cats kind of football. they they got to be consistent. Well, they can, actually, because they're winning games. But my point is, yes, Kansas City is a very, very uh, electrified environment. Uh, they, they, uh, they're, they're crazy fans. They're just like the you know, Bills. They're, just, they're, they're very, very loud and obnoxious, and uh, it'll be a very tough environment to play in. But, uh, um, you know, that, that's the thing is just, just limiting the mistakes and just doing the best you can and, and, and having fun. That's, that's the ultimate goal is just go out there and have fun, play to your best ability, limit your, your mistakes, and uh, good things will happen. You know, you got Patrick Mahomes. You know what the Kansas City Chiefs are capable of. How do you, as a captain, as a team leader, rally the troops, knowing that this could be either the last game of the season or a game that puts you in the Super Bowl? Everybody knows, you know, the, the, the situation we're in right now. Everybody knows how this game is going to be so exciting and, and uh, hard to beat, uh, the, the, the Kansas City Chiefs. But, again, going into the game, you, you have to just simplify the process. You can't get too overhyped. You can't get, uh, you know, too mellow. You can't do anything different. That's the thing is that people treat these important games differently, and that's could, it could help guys. But I think in the most part, specifically with kickers, I think it could hurt. All right. So, again, it's, it's almost like it's another game. And, and by the way, you teach kids who want to, you know, be kickers, maybe in the NFL, with your ProForm Kicking Academy. Yeah, that's that's what I do, and I, I, I treat the uh, the mental side of it as well with the, with the the form and the technique. Going back to my point is, if you get this technique down, you rely on the technique only. You don't have to worry about your athleticism steering the ball through the uprights. You just kick it, and uh, good things happen when you do it that way. And if you want to kick it and maybe become an NFL player, it's ProFormKicking.com. Get in touch with a guy who knows what it's like to be on the field in an NFL jersey. Mike, always good to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks much. And go Jags.